While reality today seems that the greenery around us may be a rare treasure in the future, here is one such man who would like to preserve it for eternity. Today we have with us Sanyog Mohite, a 27-year-old Puneite, who is doing his every bit to awaken the whole world on his mission to conserve nature. A mechanical engineer and MBA graduate, Sanyog has renounced his well-paid career and today makes documentary movies on conserving nature that are circulating worldwide in countries like Iraq, London and many more. Uh, so Sayog, uh, why did you take this decision of making eco-documentaries? Eco-documentaries was something uh, that I usually always thought because then we uh, spend a lot of money in just uh, money and resources and energy in um, uh, making films uh, so that is also not uh, that feasible so I just thought that we should do something which has been a very precise and a very uh, natural way so that is a basically an eco documentary uh, which can be is it called as a green film so we don't use generators lights and all that we we shot it with normal cameras and we edit on a very uh, simple system so can you tell us about the documentaries that you've made the now and your future plans I did my first documentary when I was doing MBA, uh, which is termed as Do You, which was of one minute. And it was uh, when we started distributing into schools, then uh, I just thought, okay, just let's apply for some film festivals. Okay. So the first I went ahead and applied to one minute to save the world.com at London. And suddenly okay. I just got to know that my film was top, uh, best, uh, on one of the best films across the, short films across the globe. Top okay. five short films across the globe. Okay. So I was happy then I applied to various film festivals and it was just uh, and then then it was nominated for Vatavaran which is also known as India's Green Oscars and when it got nominated uh, so I came across various uh, film uh, I met various filmmakers and I just got to know the filmmaking what we call this okay uh, how is it so sir you know in your trilogy like there seems to be a lot of emphasis on you yeah. why is it so do you uh, was like a question coming from kids. Okay. So I just take it further. If you doesn't understand this question or you doesn't understand the need, okay. then it will be you have to face the consequences and then it will be now you. Okay. So now the third part is okay, now you understand, now you understand it's now you. The okay. third trilogy the third part of a trilogy is final part, it's called as it's you. Okay. So now someone has to start. Okay. okay. So it's a we have to start a, at least we have to trigger a thinking process. Correct. So at least to trigger that it has to be start from us. Uh, you know the concept of your movie is very simple. Yeah. So when you conceptualized it, yeah. what were your expectations and how sure were you of the success of all the three movies? Whenever I conceptualize, I keep in mind they are for school children. So it's not like that uh, they even they get uh, appreciation and uh, they won few awards. It's not for uh, adults. It's for okay. School children. You are involving more pro more people in the project? Uh, yeah. We need people to be enough passionate for it. And uh, Sayong, you know, you have taken such a small step. And you know, you, you have inspired people worldwide. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to tell others in context of taking similar small steps, you know, and conserving nature? Thank Every you. individual must take his own action. So Correct. that would be help. Okay. Thank you so much, Sayong, yeah, for thanks. joining us. Thanks. So this was Sayog, a man with a simple dream and today he has inspired so many people worldwide and he has also helped us awaken to the mission of taking care of our environment. While you ponder what can you do to make it big like Sayog, don't forget to stay connected with us. This is Ayushi Ramaya with camera person Charulata Biswas for First Break.